You want? I know you're gonna try to get me. You want some? You don't know what a pickleback, pickleback. is? Nickelback. Everybody hates them for no reason. Even it's though very it's very true. They make uh, good music. They make good music. They're good people. People just hate them to hate on them, you know? Uh, pickleback. You never had a pickleback? Uh-uh. So you take a shot of Jameson and chase it with a shot of pickle juice. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell yeah. I hate pickles. If you like pickles, comment below, I like pickles. Crazy. Let's talk about puzzlebacks. Let's talk about puzzlebacks. So what is puzzleback? Um, I'm assuming that's what's left over after you have all the pieces of a puzzle that don't fit. Good no? All right, so that's puzzle is. puzzle is is there a gene called puzzle? Yep. So that's where a lot of confusion comes into because people name these crazy combos, these names, and then you come out with genes that are these names, and just runs into a bunch. So of is a puzzle a confusion? Because so, I'm confused now. Nope. Okay, got it. All right. So puzzle puzzle is a recessive mutation um, in ball pythons, and it brings you know a big big bug still. Um, it's really cool. I, I, I have a love-hate relationship with it. Um, that's all I'm really going to say about that. Sure. But Puzzle Back is, uh, was given to uh, the Super Jungle Wong. What? Yep. Guys, y'all got to start getting these names. And you got to so, start getting on the same page with this too. Well, I'll show you here in a second why it was called Puzzle Back. Okay. Because the dorsal... Looks like puzzle pieces. Oh, cool! All right. So I get where the name comes from. It's just where it came from. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. So it's a hidden gene woma. So no. What is hidden it? Hidden gene woma. Again, another naming issue. Yeah. Uh, hidden gene woma doesn't even make sense as to why. Anyway, because I, a super version should be called a <laughs> woma. And the woma is a whole different fucking gene. Oh my god. But anyway, so we're going to talk about jungle woma. Jungle woma is not. Uh, associated with hidden gene woma, it's not associated with woma, it's not associated with spider or anything in relation to the wobble genes, none of that. Jungle woma That's a great a, name, a wobble gene, I love it. My friend, wobble, wobble. yeah, wobble, wobble, anyway, shake it, shake it. Um, so let's get the jungle woma out, take a look at it, and then I'll show you why it's called puzzle bag. We made some supers. Okay. All right. So, unfortunately, I'm not 100% sure that this is not the super. Um, we're not going to get into details on what Jungle Wama is. You're going to have to back up to videos that we've explained previously about what Jungle Wama is and what it does. The pairing on this was Jungle Wama, Inchi, Yellow belly head hypo to a jungle woman yellow belly possible head hypo. Uh, we did not make any hypos, mm -hmm. but they're at least for sure 50% head hypo. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see if any of them prove out with time. So this is either a great looking jungle woman or a mediocre super. Not really sure. Most of the time, the supers are not this hard to ID. So I'm thinking that this is probably just a really nice single gene jungle one. So makes sense because the mom is a really nice one too. So Okay. So everything in this clutch, the downside to it is everything in this clutch is a puzzle back with the exception of this one. So that was not a pickle back. Yeah. Oh, okay. So this one is a jungle back. No, excuse me. 
See, I'm already getting confused. Yeah, it's okay. This one is a puzzle back and possible yellow belly. They call it puzzle back because of the way these pieces interlock on the back. Like a puzzle. Like a puzzle. So if I made it and the pieces look like pickles, then it'd be a pickleback. True. And if it looked like nickels, it'd be a nickelback. Want want. Want want. Right, right, so, so I want to. Yeah, now I can do it. Yeah, I want to show you something. What I have here is a Mario Desert Ghost. Okay. And I want you to look. Unfortunately, I don't have just a single G Mario without the Desert Ghost. So this is. A single gene Mario. Mario Desert Ghost, Mario Head Desert Ghost, and Jungle Wama Possible Super Jungle Wama. Okay. So what I want you to, to look at here is the alien heads. And inside these alien heads on the Mario Desert Ghost, you got keyholes. Okay. See the keyholes? Mm -hmm. And on the Mario Head Desert Ghost, if you look inside these alien heads you also have these keyholes see 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 see, I see. on this jungle wama now uh, this could be a super so you also have these keyholes see the little black spots i do in the middle of the alien heads these are called keyholes so mario desert ghost mm -hmm. mario head desert ghost jungle wama possible super super jungle wama possible yellow belly right this one is the super mario Desert Ghost. What happened to the keyholes? They completely disappeared. Most of them dis disappeared. You still got a couple. See here, mm -hmm. here. There's a little one right there. Got some down here. Mm -hmm. But most of them disappeared. And the pattern. Look at the pattern. So I'm going to pull this Jungle Wama. Sorry, I'm going to pull the Super Jungle Wama yellow, possible yellow belly back into this frame. I want you to look side by side. What do they look like? Um, almost identical. Almost identical. The Desert Ghost is going to change the pattern. Of, well, of course. And it's going to change the color, obviously. And obviously the color. And I don't have a Super Jungle. Uh, sorry, I don't have a Super Mario that is not um, Desert Ghost. Got it. So, sorry, that's the only comparison I got. But, look at your alien hits. Mm -hmm. All your keyholes either got tiny or started washing out. So I'm not saying that Jungle Wama and Mario are the same. I'm just saying they look the same. We ain't saying they're the same. They just look the same. They could be cousins. But, you know, whatever. I, I, I'm, I'm not making this video so that we can debate that. I'm just showing you the fact We're of just, what... Just comparing. Just comparing it and the Jungle Wama uh, the Super Jungle Wama, how it washes the alien heads out, just like it does on the Super Mario's. So you don't get those keyholes. So that's an indication um, for the Super Jungle Wama slash Puzzle Bag. Alright, I'm going to put these Mario's up and get back on Jungle Wama. Right. Did I tell what the parent was? I can't remember. So you probably did, was, so do it again. Jungle Wama Inchi Yellow Belly Head Hypo to a... Jungle Wama Inchi Posse Hypo. Okay. We didn't get any hypos. So let's get back to the Jungle Wama slash Super Jungle Wamas. The more I'm looking at this, the more I'm almost sure that this is going to be Super Jungle Wama. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, it's crazy looking. And I think this might be the Jungle Wama, Super Jungle Wama with Yellow Belly. Could but be. either way, let's get to what I do know. What do you know? Is that this is Super Jungle Wama Puzzle Bag with Inchi. Okay. Look at those eye straps. You got pretty eye stripes. Beautiful. So Inchi Super Jungle Wama or Inchi Puzzle Bag, whatever you want to call it. Craziness, huh? Yeah. Super crazy. Snakes are feisty today. Feisty, because it's getting warm again in Georgia. So warm in here that the camera's overheating. Now what you got? You know what's even crazier? What's that? This one. Yeah, look at the head stamp on that one. Ooh, it's crazy, huh? Super Jungle Wama slash Puzzle Bag Super Engine. With a mustache. Double Super. Throwing a hissy fit. 
So another thing about Jungle Wama and Mario, which uh, Craig just mentioned, is they have mustaches. Mm -hmm. Easy way to ID them. If they don't mean. have the mustache, does not mean they're not Jungle Wama. Just most of them do have the mustache. All of these are girls. Again, all yeah. girls. All girls. We do have a male though. You'll yeah. see him too. Yeah, please. Is he all, all pimped out and nice too? He's pretty nice. He's pretty nice. So this is, if I can do this without getting bit, this one is Puzzleback Inchy Yellow Belly. Puzzleback Inchy Yellow Belly. Yep. So basically, these two snakes are the same minus the yellow belly. This one on your right mm -hmm. has yellow belly. This one's missing the yellow belly. Got it. So boy, girl. And That's hilarious. Some of these are, you know, basically the first. So I'm only just assuming on these genetics. But my assumption, I think, is pretty, pretty accurate. All right. Putting these up. Putting these up because... without getting bit. Yeah, because they're feisty. <laughs> Stay tuned, I got another one. Here we go. Look. Hey, what? Look. Man, creeper. Look at that creeper right there. Come on in, come on in. What are you doing? You gotta ask a question. Why are you being a creeper? You gotta ask a question. What's your about question? Packing. About packing? Yeah. Well, we'll be back. Let me tell you, I'll be picking on Cassie a lot. <laughs> Cassie's a good wife. She ain't my wife, she's his wife. But you're a good wife. I might pick on you a lot, but you're awesome. Just wanted you to know that. You. There you go. See, ain't she sweet? She is a good wife. She's a good wife. She might be able to keep me straight. That's right. Lord knows I can't. I know. Whew. All right. So this is uh, actually this is the first and the last clutch of confusions this year. And since Craig mentioned confusion a while ago, we're gonna show some confusion. Uh, we'll show some confusion. I like confusions. You know what? It's probably been the worst project that I've ever been in. Nothing wrong with the genetics. I've just not had good luck and odds on it. Right. I bought, I paid 10 grand for a pair of confusions many years ago and uh, they died. The guy wouldn't do anything about it. Mm. Uh, my good friend Matt at American Made Exotics uh, finally was able to get a confusion mail from him. I bred it um, and uh, just never hit a lot of confusions and now you got to I had a big time a hard time getting them to eat when I did hatch them and uh, I only made one female over the past eight years that was confusion up until these hatched um, and these have been like perfect like they eat every time I have had no problems with this with this clutch so and I got three, there were three confusion girls in this clutch. There you go. And I haven't made one in eight years, and now I make three in one clutch. Congratulations. So, um, anyway, it, it just hasn't been, it's been a rocky, uh, a rocky investment for me. So, um, but, you know, it, it's like that sometimes. It's not always, uh, it's not always about, or it's not, you don't always make money like you think you're going to. Uh, sometimes you invest and things go sideways and you lose money. That's just part of uh, part of the way it goes. That's how it is. Nothing wrong with the confusion. I love confusion. Uh, I see a lot of people making cool stuff with it. It just was not good to me. So, um, And it's not the only project that's like that. So. But anyway, let's talk about these snakes because these snakes are freaking awesome. Um, there were five eggs in this clutch. Of Two of them went bad. Oh, what was it? Uh, she laid six. Two of them accidentally got dropped. What? Yeah, I had somebody snake watching and uh, they accidentally dropped two eggs. Well, it wasn't me. It was not Craig. So, they... Uh, Don't be blaming Craig on this. Not really happy about that, but not, I'm not going to complain here. Mm -hmm. uh, we made four healthy, beautiful snakes. Three of those four were confusion combos. Um, there's only two left that are here. Uh, Mr. Wayne Riviera out of Cube Ball Morphs uh, got one very similar to this one. Mm -hmm. um, he bought it, he wanted it, and the reason why he wanted it is because these are Het Albano. Wait a second, Confusion Het Albano. Confusion Het Albano. So the pairing on these was Fire Yellow Belly Confusion Possible Inchy, what you're about to mail, to a Het Red Albano. 
So I had never seen Confusion Hat Reds. I thought it, they would look good, and I wanted to try it, and I wanted to get some Confusion Head Albano stuff um, for our Albanos, and mm -hmm. you know, I nailed it. I hit three Confusion Head Albano combo girls. Um, this one is Confusion Head Red just by itself. There's no Inchi, uh, there's no Fire, there's no Yellow Belly, just Head Red and confusion 100 percent had albano girl she's staying here actually she's going to juan's house for the albano project oh nice but she's staying with the uh hardwired exotics uh family this one has taken me a little bit of time to figure out but what we have come to is that this is fire head red confusion 100 percent head for albano mm. So basically what we have is the same snakes. This one just has fire and this one doesn't. Well, that's pretty stinking cool. I like them in both theirs. I like the darker version and the lighter version. Yeah, me too. Uh, yeah. There was a big debate and trying to figure out which one we wanted to keep. Um, but ultimately, for what we were going to do, um, adding possible vanilla into this, we didn't want to make creams. So we decided to let the fire go. Okay. And uh, somebody can uh, pick this up if she's still available once we get back from Arlington. Sounds like a plan, Stan. There you have it. So glad y'all enjoyed this video. Or I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And uh, y'all stay tuned. See y'all next time. Be out! Thanks for watching Hardwired Exotics and make sure you subscribe.